Well, if you are interested in acting and modeling, or maybe your kid is, Spartanburg has a talent agency that can hook you up. Lisa Lopez is here to tell us all about Stisa Talent Agency. And you know Miss Lisa's son, Justin. He's been on the show a lot, Mr. Yes. Justin Myrick, doing all kinds of, of things. Movies, modeling, voiceovers, and now he's a college student at Ball State University. There you go. But that doesn't stop him from working. He actually did manage to do a print ad for a big company while he was home on Christmas break. So he's See, still in that, the business. That extra spending money is going to go a long way <laughs> in college. But here's the thing Lisa wants y'all to know at home. Because how many times, I know you've got friends who are like, oh, look at my daughter, she's so pretty, or my son is so handsome, he should model. That's good and all, but there, it, it's, it takes a little bit more than that. Right, right. Um, they have to prepare in advance. So on February 18th, Stisa Talent Agency, and that was started by Steve and Lisa. Steve is my husband. Uh, yeah. So um, we're going to have an open call looking for new actors and models. So if you feel that you have that something to work professionally in the entertainment industry, we'd love to see you at our open call on February 18th. But you can't just walk in. Yeah, don't just get off the couch and be like, I got this. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, what do you need to do? You have to prepare. So if you're interested in acting, you have to show us that you can actually memorize a monologue. So we're going to be looking for a one-minute monologue that you have memorized. You will come in that day and um, perform it for us. Less than one minute, one minute or less. And then if you want to be a model, females, you must be walk. Um, able to walk in heels. You have to show us that you can walk in heels. That's oh. a requirement, okay? Yeah. And um, as far as the actors, that goes for the kids as well. We represent people from ages four and up, and all races, all sizes, genders. Um, our people are working. They are working on national TV shows, national commercials. Um, we just had one guy down in Atlanta for a big, big audition with a big studio. I won't say his name, but y'all can figure it out. Okay, in Atlanta yesterday. Okay. And then we had um, two others auditioning for Stephen King this week. And, oh, wow. And um, another one for the TV show Star this morning. So we're doing big, big things, lots of bookings. and. So when people... When they come to this audition, okay, we mm -hmm. see what they have to do. Let's say that they get booked by you. You're like, we would like to represent you. Mm -hmm. Once you represent them, are you kind of molding them and training them so when they go out on these casting calls, they're ready? Definitely. One of the things that we look for, um, of course, is the attitude and the work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when, when casting directors approach us, and we work with casting directors from all over the U.S., when they approach us, they're looking for people that have a really good work ethic. A lot of people it's a think, long day on set. A long, long yes. day on set. I've gone with my son on set lots of times, and most of the days are 12-hour work days. Yeah. Well, you still have to have a great personality, be energetic all day long. And, of course, that requires discipline, and that requires training. And uh -huh. Even if you're nervous and you have 20 people standing around staring at yeah, you, fake it a little you bit. still <laughs> have to be comfortable in front of the cameras. Yep. So there are some, you know, inner traits that people have to have. It's not always about the look. People always, one of the common misperceptions that people have is that you have to be super, super gorgeous to make it in this business. Right. Not so. Yeah. There are projects for TV. There are projects now for the Internet. So we now have Netflix, it's opened up Amazon, so much. Facebook's yeah. going to start doing movies. Wow. So all types of projects are being made, and they're looking for all types of people. And I like, too, when you think mm. model, when you think, mm. oh, size zero or less, that's mm. not, you know what no, I mean? Like, no. your runway models are always going to be that. But there's models for, like, so many other things. There are models for, like, print. Um, I mentioned that my son, Justin, he did a print ad. Um, if anyone has ever seen Justin, Justin is only 5 feet 5. Yeah, but he's he little. was able to do a print ad. Um, one of our other models, Chris um, Hill, is over 6 feet. And Chris, actually, he was on Lenovo's website in a print ad. That's so, huge. Lenovo is a big yeah, company. Yeah, Lenovo, this was yeah. a national ad. Yeah. So um, it just depends on what they're looking for. We've had, you know, teenage Ellie Hudson. She's, you know, was on Qualcomm's website in a print ad. Um, so you got it all. Y'all go to our website and it'll tell you again the date and what time to come and where to go for this casting call. Thank you, Ms. Thank Lisa. You, you come Megan. back, boy. Well, yeah, you got some great tips. Thank I you. love Thank it. Thank you.